Hello and welcome to my channel, Art of Ryan Tully. My name is Ryan, thanks for tuning in. So today I'm drawing two of my own original characters, Big Daddy X and the Gord of Fartness. And these two characters are featured in my motion comic called GOF. You can tell what that stands for. Which is going to be uploaded to my new Ryan's Motion Comics channel on Wednesday the 20th at 8 a.m. I actually put this motion comic together back in 2020, so it's a few years old already, but I'm still proud of it, still happy with the way it turned out, and uh, of course I want to remind everyone that I created two new channels, Ryan's Motion Comics and Ryan Animator. so if you like motion comics and storytelling, go check out Ryan's Motion Comics. If you like animation, especially old school, classic style, Hanna-Barbera filmation type of animation, go check out Ryanimator. Okay, so obviously, even though these are my own original characters, I think you can tell that they're based on some other well-known characters. You know, Big Daddy X is a buff, rough and tough Santa Claus. And course Santa Claus Father Christmas Big Daddy X that's how I came up with that name so if you're wondering how that's original well this is my own iteration my own character design with the the hat and the t-shirt and all that kind of stuff and uh, my own way of drawing him as for the other character the Gort of Fartness I think you can tell just by the name that it's a parody character but of course it's a parody of the character the Lord of Darkness from the wonderful 1985 film Legend. You gotta check it out, get the director's cut, don't settle for the theatrical version, the director's cut is the best. But anyway, I think a lot of people are familiar with that character. And this is just meant to be kind of a, a funny sort of spin-off, not spin-off, a parody, where he's a giant pumpkin and instead of horns he has two big stems. <laughs> So, obviously that's where the name Gord comes from. And, yeah, I had a little fun with that one, as you can probably tell. So there's definitely some humor in the motion comic. Okay, and I was uh, watching a lot of martial arts movies at that time. Especially some lesser known martial arts films with some awesome fight scenes. And some very strong cult followings, like King of the Kickboxers, like the No Retreat, No Surrender movies, okay, um, and Undefeatable, which is a <laughs> an infamous classic, but those films are actually pretty well written, and, you know, these are martial artists, not necessarily, like, trained actors or you know, Shakespearean actors or anything like that, but, and, and they're low budget films. But aside from, you know, the, the production value and maybe uh, not the most Oscar worthy acting you'll ever see, it's actually pretty good and they're extremely entertaining. The fight scenes are phenomenal, but. Uh, the screenwriters actually did a, a pretty good job, and you can tell that the writers are intelligent and well-educated <laughs> with some of the themes they get into. Some pretty heady stuff for your basic action film, but anyway, a lot of fun to watch, and so I definitely incorporated a lot of those uh, martial arts aspects into this story. It's a very action-packed story, as a matter of fact. So even though it's like still images on a screen with just a little bit of camera movement, uh, I think it still packs a punch. And in fact, I even made some references to some of those films, including one that's a lot more mainstream, Bloodsport, and I'll show a little clip of that. Say it! Say it! Monte. So, obviously I had a lot of fun putting this story together, putting this motion comic together, and including these different elements, and uh, 
There's also an anime reference, a very specific anime reference to Hokuto no Ken, aka Fist of the North Star. In general, I'm not like a, a huge anime fan, but certainly I like some of those uh, all-time classics like Fist of the North Star, Vampire Hunter D, Vampire Hunter D, Bloodlust, and so forth. But uh, with the heavy martial arts element in this story, I definitely wanted to get that Hokuto no Ken element in there, which you can see in this illustration as well. And at first I had it in mind to color this illustration traditionally, but actually I kind of thought I wanted to stay a little truer to the look of the, the motion comic itself, which I did digitally, or I colored digitally. I always draw traditionally, just like you're seeing here. I always draw with real paper, pencils and pens, but especially for a, a bigger project, like a video project, like uh, this motion comic, all my motion comics and animation, it definitely makes more sense to use digital. Even though I've kind of had a little sort of back and forth with my thoughts on using digital art software, the truth is I really appreciate it, especially for big projects like that. So, and you know, of course the, the main thing about it is it does not do the work for you. <laughs> you have to do the work. You, the artist, have to make all the decisions and, and do all the work. It's definitely faster and more efficient, but, uh, you know, as the artist, you are still in control of the entire process. Nothing's doing it for you, and that's important to me that, that I'm the one making the decisions and doing the work. end rant on that one <laughs> but anyway so i made a handful of motion comics uh mostly in 2020 and 2021 uh back in those years so it's been a little while since i've put one together but i'm re-uploading them slowly but surely on my new ryan's motion comics channel and i actually had uh this one gof uploaded to this channel but of course my main channel is all about drawing and illustration and so i prefer to to keep everything separate in that way and keep this channel focused on drawing drawing processes illustration processes but you might have seen this one already or maybe not and if you have not seen this motion comic called gof be sure to check it out on wednesday Alright, so for now I'm just going to let the rest of the process play out and I'll come back at the end with some final thoughts. Enjoy!
Alright, so there's my illustration of Big Daddy X and the Gord of Fartness, ready for a big time throwdown, showdown, martial arts extravaganza spectacular. Be sure to check out the Motion Comic this Wednesday, September 20th at 8 a.m. on my Ryan's Motion Comics channel. Of course, I'll leave a link to the channel in the description below. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this illustration. Be sure to like and sub, and I'll see you next time.